Hello everyone, and it's FFDFFY here again, and I'm just starting a new Let's Play series. So Stardew Valley is a pretty cool game that I've had for a little while, I've had a little bit of experience with. It's pretty fun though, you gotta do some quests, do some farming and stuff, so uh, let's get to it. So first we gotta start out with uh, customizing your character. So I guess we'll just go with my regular username. And... I don't know, what should we call the farm? Uh, I guess we could go with something... Twin Oaks. How's that sound? And my favorite thing... Uh, something from the game it has to be. So let's go with... Let's go with some... Beer. Sounds good. And I think I am going to prefer dog over a cat. I'm male. And I think we'll go closest to what I look like, I guess. That's pretty good. There, kind of like that. So, and my eye color is pretty much correct. So I think that's good. Now, <clears throat> in Stardew Valley, uh, with the new update, there's lots of things that you can do here. So you can uh, try and pick different types of farms. So this is the standard farm that came with the game when it first started. And then you have the Riverland farm, which is uh, your farm is basically surrounded by rivers and there's lots of rivers running through it. It's really cool looking. Uh, there's the forest farm with um, a lot of forests. So there's wood to be cut down and stuff, but it limits your farming space. And then we have the hilltop farm, which is perfect for mining if you want to do that and then we have the wilderness farm which is um, good for killing monsters and stuff like that but I'm not sure that I want to do that so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, just to start out we're gonna do the standard farm and then there's gonna be a short cutscene here so I'll let you guys watch it Now this is our character's grandfather, and um, he's just given us an envelope here that we'll get to see later on in this cutscene. Twenty years later. So Jojiko, as we uh, learn on later in the series, uh, isn't as good as it seems, as you can maybe tell from this. But um, it seems to wreak havoc on the lives of most of the people here, as well as in Stardew Valley. Dear FFDFFY, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Twin Oaks Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to that old guy for me, will ya? So that is the scene where we are gifted the farm that we're going to go to now.
Alright, so we've arrived in Stardew Valley. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do voices or not, but I think I might just because that seems like it'd be something funny to do. Alright guys, so it looks like we've made it to the farm safe and sound, and, oh, there's one more cutscene here. Perfect. So, now we're on to the farm chores and stuff like that. So, what I like to do on my first day is I like to sort of get a small area cleaned up in front of the house so that I have uh, somewhere to plant my crops. Oh, we got some parsnip seeds. And a journal entry. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. How nice. So now we got a couple of quests here that we have to keep on top of throughout our journeys. So getting started is, if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil and use a pocket seed and till the seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Whatever, water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. And then you can, uh, so the quest is actually to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. So there's also something cool here. Um, you should check the TV every day so that you can gain uh, intel into different stuff. So here we have the weather report for the day. So, and now for the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Fortune teller. So these spirits are what your luck's going to be for the day. Foraging, um, getting gold, silver crops, all that sort of stuff. And then we have Living Off the Land and um, Queen of Sauce, which are two specialty programs that teach you how to do different stuff. Perfect. So outside we go. So see how everything's sort of overgrown here. Now we want to clean out this area so we have somewhere to start planting and uh, tilling our soil. So we're just going to go through here and we're going to use our scythe and to cut up some of this grass and stuff. And then we're going to use our axe here. I'm going to sort of rebind this all for a second here. Perfect. Now, if you can look in the bottom right corner, doing all these activities cost you stamina or energy and the way that you can regain that energy is by uh, getting food and now we can get food from foraging we can grow our own food we can find food but first to start off we're just gonna go through a regular day here and we're gonna sort of start clearing out this area so we have somewhere to plant our seeds and stuff
Now, this is looking pretty good here to start with, and we have 15 seeds. So what I like to do is later on in the game, you can get something called sprinklers. Now, sprinklers are good because they water your crops for you. Actually, I don't like where that is. I want to put a path there. So, we can... So what the sprinkler does is it'll sit in the middle of this here and it will water the crop so I don't have to do it because doing chores in the morning every day is pretty boring, not just for me, but for the viewer as well. So what we can do here if I stop misclicking is get this set up and then we can plant some seeds and then we have to water the crops with the watering can afterwards. But see how low my energy is getting already? Now, if you level up, it makes it easier uh, to regain energy and you have more energy. So that's a good start. So tomorrow, actually, we might have enough time today. I'm going to run into town and I'm going to get some more seeds. Just because the more seeds you grow, the uh, bigger the harvest, which means the bigger the income. And what I want to do first normally when I get into Stardew Valley is I want to get a bigger backpack because as you can see here these are grayed out so we can't use them. So we want to get more slots. So the next backpack upgrade allows you to have 24 slots I think it is which is really handy when you're doing uh, mining and everything else. It's just it's essential in my opinion. So we're gonna head over this way and we're gonna bring ourselves into uh, Stardew Valley here but first we're gonna make a stop off here in this little alcove where the bus stop is to do some foraging because foraging allows you to sell these to get some money or to get some income before you actually start selling anything so we're gonna buy some I think probably some more parsnip seeds because uh, they're pretty cheap and we only have $500. Now what you'll notice about this game is uh, a lot of the crops are quite expensive you're gonna buy bass, uh, mass numbers of them so we're gonna want to go in here and we're gonna see Pierre so well, parsnip seeds aren't actually that expensive so let's grab oh my inventory is full see what I mean here so now I'm gonna sell these things gonna pick up let's do 15 of these uh, let's do some potatoes sure why not alright what's on the message board today okay so this is the calendar of the message board that uh, we can see everything on so on Sunday we have Lewis's birthday and we have Vincent's birthday Haley's birthday and this is the uh, annual egg festival now at every festival there's something we can get that's uh, they're called rare crows and they're scarecrows for the farm that you can only get at these festivals now scarecrows work by scaring off crows and uh, the crows will eat your crops and then that just in turn leads to losing money so as you could have seen on the calendar there uh, I have a couple mods installed I have a mod to tell me what everyone's favorite foods are because that's how you gain their favor and you get hearts with the people to become friends and I also have in my map here it shows me where everyone is in respect to the game so I think these uh, mods are essential because they really help out when you're trying to find people to talk to or when you need to sell something to someone continue just planting up these seeds here And later on in the game you can upgrade your tools I can upgrade the watering can so that it holds more and I also can water more than one thing at a time but for now we're gonna stick with this until probably the end of the growing season Alright guys, I think it's a pretty good place to call it today. Um, we'll be back next time uh, for more Stardew Valley, so uh, please tune in then. Thanks.